What's up, guys? So it is Tuesday, day 103, and as a perfect example of how rushed and scatterbrained I have been today, I just spent seven and a half minutes filming a video only for my phone's memory to fill up and for the video to stop. It's like everything wants to interrupt me and screw with my plans today. So, I will try to make what was a long conversation brief. Woke up 10 minutes later than I normally do this morning. That set the tone for the day. I wasn't late for work. I had plenty of time. I still got to work with, you know, 15 minutes to spare. Um, but it kind of set the tone for day today. So the call volume today in the morning was astronomical. I mean, we were getting calls back to back. I even had a call come in when I was trying to note you know, finish my notes for the call previous because we're not allowed to put ourselves in after call work. We get 30 seconds of after call work uh, and then we immediately go back into available. And it's not, it hasn't really mattered because our call volume has been so low that, you know, we go back into available and we sit there for 10, 15 minutes. Not this morning. So I even had a call come in while I was trying to notate another call and it was a mess. Um, and that just was pretty much the whole first half of the day. Now, after lunch, which they put us back down to a half an hour today, um, after lunch, I, it was slow again, but I still felt, for whatever reason, I still felt rushed and, you know, I was making harebrained mistakes and just this and that. I mean, it just was a very not good day for me mentally. And when I say that, I don't mean like, you know, my depression, bad days mentally, because that's generally what I say when I'm having a problem with depression. Um, I was just really scatterbrained. I even called a participant by the wrong name. Um, I called her the name of the woman that I had helped previous to her. No idea why. Um, and like, People were rude today, too, which frustrated me. Like, I don't work in the kind of call center where you need to be rude. You know, this is, I'm not a telemarketer. One, I'm not calling you. You're calling me. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Everything that you want with your benefits is what you want. I could care less whether or not you have dental or vision. All, all I have to say is, do you want it? If you say no, I say okay. I don't try to upsell you, you know, none of that. You know, if you call in with a problem with the website, I unlock your account, I set your password, I make sure you get logged in. You know, these calls take four minutes, five minutes, and you're not sitting in queue. Even when we were busy this morning, people weren't sitting in queue. Uh, you were getting agents pretty immediate when you called in. But people were just in such a rush today. And, you know, I, three, three different women, I helped them get logged into the website, you know, unlocked their account, sent them a temporary password, make sure they got logged in. Well, I didn't make sure each one of them got logged in because a couple of them, you know, couldn't retrieve their password right away. They had to wait until they were at a, another computer. I don't know. But these were quick calls. Like, I helped these women within five minutes. And when I'm trying to, you know, do my closing and just be like, thank you for calling, be connected, have a good day, they hang up on me. Like, they, they're rushing me through the closing. I'm like, okay, you know, trying to say, okay, did you need anything? Uh, uh, you know, they don't even let me finish asking if they need anything else before being like, nope, nope, thank you, nope. You know, it's like, what, what do you get out of that? You're going to get off the phone maybe 10 seconds sooner, maybe. Probably more like, two seconds sooner, what do you get from that? Do you get some sort of satisfaction of knowing you hung up on the poor call center agent guy who was doing nothing but trying to help you before he had the chance to thank you for calling and say goodbye? Now, I am not always a polite person. I have my moments. I have been rude to people, and I will be rude to people. It's human nature. My thing is, is it's like, what do you get from it? when you are doing it consciously. Because I don't generally do it consciously. 
You know, I don't, I don't hang up on somebody who is trying to help me unless they do something that pisses me off. You know, if they are snotty about something, then yeah, I will hang up on them. Or, you know, if they're giving me the runaround or trying to upsell me on something I don't want and I've told them twice already that I don't want it, then I will hang up on you. But that's not what I'm doing. So why hang up on me before I even have a chance to finish saying goodbye? Why interrupt me every five seconds? I don't get it. And then I had another woman who was calling in and uh, I forget what her question was about, but she kept, she kept asking, like I had to direct her to uh, a carrier for her benefits. Not, not, you know, not us, not the company, but the actual carrier for her benefits. I had to direct her there. And she's like, but will they know what my benefits are? And I'm trying to explain to her, you don't have benefits yet. You haven't enrolled in a plan. So no, they won't know what your benefits are because you haven't picked one. And I'm trying to explain this to her and she keeps interrupting me every time I start talking, like I'm not understanding her question. And it's like, if you would let me get out more than two words, you would understand that I'm giving you the answer to the question that you are asking. So that's, you know, that's what my day was. It was, it was kind of frustrating. But there'll be days like that, you know, like I'm not pissed about it or anything like that, but it was frustrating. And you know how, you know, I've explained it to you before that sometimes when things like that upset me, it can affect me for a while. And it, I think that was part of the reason why the day was frustrating too. And then even, you know, to push home even more the, uh, how rushed and stuff I felt today. I, uh, I wanted to go to the fitness center, but I also needed to go to the store and grab some food stuffs. I was supposed to make chicken tonight, but my mom ended up using all the chicken for the chicken noodle soup that she made on Sunday. Um, but I'm like, you know, I got, I get out at 425. I need to be back here to pick up my mom by seven. If I want to be back up here to use the fitness center, you know, I, I like to get here at about 5.30 so that I can get in what I want and then get over here to pick her up and have a minute to just kind of sit in the car before she's out of work. Just sit in the car and relax, kind of like what I'm doing now. So I'm like rushing when I'm at Kroger and then rush home, get all the groceries out and everything, get changed. I get to the fitness center and I don't have my badge. Luckily, one of the women I work with was there and she was able to let me in and I didn't get as much uh, done in my workout as I wanted. I got about 20 minutes done on the treadmill. I did two sets of 10 minutes and then I did one set of all the uh, the weights that I do. The, the three, I do three of the weight machines and then uh, a couple of exercises with the free weights. So I got some in, not as much as I wanted to, but my back is really hurting. And I think that that's a combination of the chairs at work and just, you know, sitting in my bed on my computer because I don't really like being out in the living room when people are out there watching TV. So that's not really good for my back. So my back has really been killing me today. But anyway, that uh, that's the Reader's Digest version of my day and... Reader's Digest version was me babbling. I'm sorry if, like, a lot of that was incoherent. Um, but, yeah, that was my day. I will uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm going home to make fish fillets on hoagies with some rice. I'll talk to you tomorrow.